Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. In today's video, I'm going to be deep cleaning our master bedroom and bathroom. I've kind of let these two rooms go and it's definitely time to give everything a good scrub and make it feel nice and fresh in here. So let me take you around and show you everything that I want to get done today. All right, so the first thing I want to do in the bedroom, I've already cleaned up and put away everything other than what I'll be working on today. So I want to wash the sheets, the duvet cover, and then probably our pillows as well. Um, and then I need to dust and clean the mirror and the dresser. And I want to go around and do the baseboards and everything too. And then in the bathroom, I need to clean the shower. I want to disinfect the sinks and the countertops and clean all of that. Um, and then I think this is where I'm going to start. This cabinet has gotten out of control. I feel like there's a lot of wasted space and there's a lot of things in here that I'm not really using. So I think this is where I'm going to start before I start really deep cleaning anything. I want to pull all of this out and go through it and get it organized. So let's go ahead and get started. Before I got started decluttering and organizing the bathroom, I decided to go ahead and take the sheets and the duvet off the bed and that way I could get those in the washer so that they could be washing while I do everything else. I don't need that type of drama and trying to be tough for the day time. Does anyone else that has a duvet absolutely hate taking it off and putting it back on? I feel like it takes forever for me to get it off and back on, but it's always so worth it once it's washed, but I feel like it takes me forever to do it. I mentioned that I wanted to get the pillows washed and I did, but I thought I would share with you guys how I typically wash them. So I just use my regular detergent and softener and scent beads. Um, but when I go to dry them, I use a lower heat setting and I throw some tennis balls in the dryer with them. That way it kind of beats the pillows and gets out any lumps and um, fluffs them up and they're always like new when I get them out of the dryer. And we have the gel foam um, pillows, so that's how I do it. And it's always like new pillows once uh, they come out of the dryer. To organize everything in the cabinet, I found this um, four drawer organizer at Target and I measured my space to make sure it would fit. It's a little bit tall, so I have to take the top drawer off which is fine, um, but this is how I'm going to be organizing everything. Like I said, this thing is just a little bit too tall to get into the cabinet. It would fit once it's in there, but it's getting it in there, that's the issue. So um, I just decided to pop that top drawer off. That way it made it easier on me and um, I didn't want there to be any issues trying to get anything out of the top drawer. So now I'm just going to pull everything out and group it into like categories. That way I can go through everything and see what I can get rid of. Once I went through everything and started putting it in the drawers, it took me a little while to figure out how I wanted it, but I feel like that's how it goes anytime I'm decluttering and reorganizing something. I feel like it takes me a few tries to see what really works. 
So you'll see me going back and forth on how to organize a few things, um, but it ended up working out in the end. I decided while I was at it, I would go ahead and go through my makeup brushes and my makeup bag um, or my makeup case. I feel like it was just overflowing and things didn't fit and a lot of it I wasn't using on a daily basis. So I just took everything out and either got rid of it or put it away um, unless I was using it on a daily basis. I knew that this makeup case had gotten a little cluttered, well actually really bad cluttered, but I didn't realize how much stuff was in here. Um, until I took it all out. There were things that were either expired or they were just old and dried out or they were empty and they needed to go. So once I had all of that gone and out of there, it it's just been working so much better for me in the mornings. So I ended up with those two bags that are all trash and then this either needs to be put somewhere else or some of it I'm giving to my mom. But here is what the cabinet looks like now. It is definitely not perfect but it is way better than it was. Um, back there is just some um, extra face wash and stuff that I'll use occasionally, my makeup bags and then in the top drawer I have face mask and skincare, middle drawer I have all hair products or tools, and then the bottom drawer is um, self tanning stuff and some makeup um, palettes that wouldn't fit in my makeup bag. So yeah, that's what it looks like now. Now let's go ahead and get on to the deep cleaning part. I feel like I could make an entire video on decluttering, but that wasn't my goal um, on the day that I was doing all of this. <laughs> I really did more decluttering than I thought that I was going to, but now I'm moving on into the deep cleaning part, and I'm just going to be spraying down the shower as well as the sinks with the Scrubbing Bubbles Mega Shower Foamer. If you guys have been around for a while, you know that I absolutely love this stuff. We have um, a well, so we have hard water. And having those glass shower doors, I feel like it kind of builds up and I have no issues getting the shower doors clean while using um, the scrubbing bubbles. Everything just falls apart. So I just close my eyes and dream about our kids and how they're running around. Won't you come and now I'm just going to spray down the rest of the countertop with um, some Lysol spray and give that a few minutes to sit while I scrub down the shower. Keep my head high while we're 
Now that the shower is done, I'm just going to um, take a sponge and scrub out the sinks. And then once I'm done with that, I'm going to use that same sponge to scrub down the countertops. Um, I like to do this every once in a while just because hairspray and stuff gets built up on the countertop. So I just scrub it down real quick and then um, I'll use the paper towel to dry it up just because there was a lot of water on the countertop, but I will go back later with my e-cloth and wipe everything down again. Get to 
So full of self-confidence And everything you said made a lot of sense I thought I was too cold to ever love again But every single word cut through the rain now I'm just going to wet my bathroom e-cloth and I'm going to start with the mirror before I wipe down the countertop again. I'm living in your messages I'm closer to you there I guess Living in your messages Every day now I can feel taking that same e-cloth combo and just wiping down the outside of the shower doors. Um, I had splattered some water earlier and it was time for them to be cleaned anyway. So that's what I'm doing here. I wanted to take a second and show you guys these cabinets up close because um, I know that the camera hides a lot of that, but I wanted to show you guys this real life moment that I'm taking that e-cloth again and just wiping down all of the cabinets and the drawer pulls. From your hands and your body, it hurts so much to think of you as someone else. Can't get enough when you're sweet talking to me. Now I'm talking sweet all by myself. Put your arms around me, put your faith in me, put your love on me. What you need from me, need your love on me, put your love on me. I'm gonna do everything for you. The last thing I'm gonna do in the bathroom right now is clean the toilet, and I am using the Clorox toilet wand as well as some Clorox wipes. To that moment in time When you say you want me for life Was it all a lie? I gave my all to deserve ya Begging on my knees just to show ya You're the one I want and I love ya No, 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 no lie I miss your touch From your hands and your body It hurts so much To think of you as someone else Can't get enough when you're sweet talking to me Now I'm talking sweet all by myself Put your arms around me, put your faith in me Put your love on me What you need from me, need your love on me Put your love on me I'ma do everything for you I don't want anyone but you Put your arms around me, put your faith in me Put your love on me
Okay, now that I am finally done cleaning the bathroom, I'm going to start on deep cleaning our master bedroom. And really the main thing that needed to be done in here other than the bedding was just to give everything a good dust. So I'm starting with the fan. I just grabbed an old pillowcase and um, dusted that off real quick. To dust everything else in the room, I am just using a microfiber cloth and some in dust spray, but I wanted to start with the um, headboard and the nightstands first. Before I start dusting everything else, I like to vacuum off the mattress anytime I am deep cleaning our bedroom. Um, we have a mattress topper, but I still get a lot of stuff in the canister every time I vacuum off the mattress. So if you guys aren't already doing this, I encourage you to do it and see um, see what comes out of your mattress. You'll probably be surprised. But now I am moving on to dusting the um, dresser and the mirror. If you guys are still watching, thank you so much for sticking around. It really means so much to me that you guys watch these videos. I can't thank you guys enough. Um, but if you're still around, leave me a heart in the comments. Now I am going to wipe down the TV and the mirror and I am using, you guessed it, my e-cloth glass cloths to clean um, the TV, the mirror, and then I'm also going to clean the lamps with this combo as well. My focus been drifting away from you. Just wasn't our time, our time. You can say, you can say what you want, but I know you heard at night. But I tried and I tried and I tried to hold you tight. So I'm here tonight. And I'm giving us one last chance. Cause I don't wanna lose what we had. Cause I'm not feeling right. And I'm tired of this loneliness. Let me prove it cause I swear I will. 
Now that everything else is cleaned and dusted, I am going around all of the baseboards in the bedroom and the bathroom with the vacuum and the brush attachment. And I know you guys see all of this dust and makeup and stuff that's under the cabinets right here, but this is real life and I wanted to include it so that you guys could see it um, because again, it's real life. But yeah, I'm just gonna go around both rooms and finish all the baseboards. Now that all of the baseboards and everything are done, I am just going to go ahead and vacuum the rug. And as you can see, I have put the duvet back on the comforter. Um, I'm just waiting on the sheets and the pillows to dry, but I wanted to go ahead and vacuum the rug and the rest of the floors. That way, all I had to do was make the bed and everything would be done. So um, I'm just going to vacuum all of the floors. Talk about it like you're crazy You know damn well I can't replace you Just say what, say what you mean now everything is done except for making the bed. I feel like this took me forever to get to this point, but this is the last thing I have to do. So um, I'm just gonna go ahead and make the bed. That way I can be completely done. I got you, I got you, I got you The way you look at me is absent It's like you're walking through a labyrinth Just say what, what's going on Don't waste your time being all alone Say what, say what you mean, say what you mean And you'll get, get what you need, get what you need If you guys made it all the way to the end, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, it seriously means so much to me and I can't thank you enough. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope it motivated you to get something done in your house today. If it did, please give this video a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please hit that little red subscribe button. I would love to have you stick around and I will see you all in my next one. Bye.